Hi, I'm Peter Martins from PM Farms, located in Penyon, New York, Yates County. Uh, we're currently standing in a barley field. We have a Frederick wheat field in the background, and behind us is Seneca Lake in the distance. My family's been growing different grains ever since we started farming in Yates County in 1957. Really just in the last couple of years though, it's gotten to be much more interesting. We've become involved in, in milling grains and also in grains for brewing and distilling. And that's become a, a real special interest of mine in the last three to four years. Uh, the first year that we planted barley would have been 2010. We harvested that barley in 2011. That was just a, a very small amount, several different varieties to see how malting barley behaved. Uh, that was at the actually at the urging of Andrea from Valley Malt. Uh, from that time, we, we jumped from seven acres in 2010 to 40 acres in 2011. And now the past two years, we've had about 90 acres of malting barley. The vast majority goes to Valley Malt. We do work with a local brewery as well, as we like to work with local business. Uh, everything that I do is certified organic. I personally have about 550 acres of rented and leased ground. I work closely with my parents. They have an additional 1,100 acres. They started transition in 1992 uh, because they had two young children and they wanted to have a a healthier environment to raise their children in. Uh, some of the, the biggest differences that we have talking with neighbors and talking with other farmers that are getting into barley production are um, we don't have the ability to use fungicides and insecticides and herbicides which at times could be advantageous. Uh, the 2014 has been a rather challenging season, uneven maturity. Uh, we also are dealing with uh, weed growth because of heavy winter damage. Um, there also have been years such as 2012 where we had a lot of insect pressure. In all of those situations, a conventional farmer would have tools to use. We need to, rather than spraying something, we need to anticipate the possible risks and plan a rotation that minimizes our risks. We need to use tillage appropriately to manage our weed pressure and we need to uh, fertilize carefully to ensure the healthiest and most productive possible plant. Andrea and Christian are, are really great to work with. Uh, they're, they're passionate about what they do. Uh, that at times leads to a little bit of tension, such as last year where we had a less than ideal quality in our crop, but it's become a learning experience for both of us and I, I believe that in the future we're going to be able to turn out a much better quality product because of the, the good communication that we've had. Some of this field of barley, as well as possibly some of the wheat in the background, may be going into the green market wheat, or into the green market wheat beer. Uh, they both are uh, multiple grains. We've worked with Andrea to malt both of these grains with excellent results. It's been really fun to see uh, what the end users can do with some of our grains. In the past, as a grain farmer, even since we've been organic, oftentimes the grain leaves on a truck, a truck 25 tons at a time, and we really don't know and, and didn't especially care where it was going. And now, through talking with Garrett Oliver and other brewers, and also working closely with millers that we've met through the green market, uh, we've gotten to see the I guess the end result of what we're producing. It's not just grain anymore, it's, it's food and drink. And that's really fulfilling to see.